Hey everyone, SMG here, welcome back to a video. I'm going to be reacting to Bruce Do Dead End Job by Bruce Do. Now, this is my very first Bruce Do reaction, so yeah, we're going to get the start. This is going to be really new to me, so yeah, make sure you watch the original link, subscribe to Bruce Do, make sure you give a like, and make sure you subscribe with that subscribe button, and make sure you ring that bell to notified so you don't miss the next reaction video or gaming video or whatever video I do on my channel. We are almost at 1.1k, so hopefully we get there really, really soon. Let's get this started in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Alright, now some of you may know that before I started in the business of drawing crappy stick figure cartoons, <laughs> I used to work at a car dealership. And when I first started working there, I started as a porter in the service department. And being a porter all sucked right. ass. You were on the bottom rung of the employment ladder, which meant you had to do all the shitty jobs that nobody else wanted to do. Uh, yeah, I guess the toilets broke down today, so I'm gonna have to have you manually scoop all the shit out with this tiny shovel and bucket. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Bill had a cheesy gordita crunch yesterday, so you might want to wear like a poncho maybe. So needless to say, it didn't take long for me to be like, wow, this job sucks ass. I'm gonna work here a couple of weeks, and then I'm gonna find something better. But instead of doing that, I worked there for seven years. Oh, god damn it. And indeed, it yep. did suck ass. It sucked so much that I got my friend Brewer a job there so he could be just as miserable as I was. Now, our main job as porters was to check in customers when they brought their broke-ass cars to get fixed. But a good portion of our job was just me and Brewer standing around by the tires and laughing like Beavis and Butthead all day long. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Our boss would get all pissed like, Oh, come on, guys, don't just stand there. Pick up a broom. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Now, most of the customers that came in were not in the best of moods. I mean, they're getting their car fixed. How good of a mood could you be in? Hello, sir. Yeah. What brings you in today? Well, you guys sold me a Ford Focus that drives like old people. Fuck, that's what brings me in today. <laughs> okay, okay, right this way. It was always funny watching Brewer talk to customers because Brewer is a pretty eccentric person. And not everybody knows how to handle his ass. Oh, because Brew and like, Stu, oh, right, I get it. dippity do. What is it that I can do for you? What the hell? Honey, why is this guy talking like he's fucking Willy Wonka? I don't like <laughs> Now, one time in particular, this lady comes in, and she's like, Is Brewer here? He helped me with my car earlier, and he was so nice. I just wanted to give him some cookies that I made. Uh, no, he's on his lunch break right now. Okay, I'll just leave these here then. You know, I just think it's so nice that you guys employ people with his special needs. Yeah. Special needs. What? Oh my, oh my god, god, this lady, lady thinks, thinks Brewer's, Brewer's retarded. retarded. Uh, yeah, he's one of a kind. I try to keep an eye on him. He often gets very confused and frightened, but I try to do my best. But I'll be sure this to get these cookies as fuck, to his goofy dude. ass for you. Brewer comes back from lunch, and I'm like, Hey, what did you say to that lady you helped today? I don't know, why? Well, because she thought you were retarded, Brewer, that's why. And she gave you some cookies. She thought I was what? Oh, to hell with it. I got cookies out of it, at least. Now, the other part of our job was to move cars to and from the service aisle. And you'd think that would be an easy job. But nothing's yep. an easy job when it's 7 30 in the morning and you're a half awake severely hungover 20 year old kid my ass was barely yep. coherent in the morning now one time i got into somebody's car and instead of pressing down on the brake i pushed down on the gas pedal instead all of a sudden the car starts revving up like crazy my dumb ass doesn't even realize it i'm thinking it's somebody else i'm fucking redlining the engine and shit i'm looking around like who's the dumb idiot that's about to blow up a car engine get off the gas pedal you stupid asshole oh i'm the dumb idiot so i get out of the car all embarrassed yeah sorry i almost blew up your car i don't know how cars work apparently Apparently. But the worst part about driving other people's cars is that some people are filthy animals. One time this car came in and it was practically filled to the ceiling with old ass McDonald bags and wow. half cheeseburger. Yep. Ah, sick. It smells like Ronald McDonald's asshole in this piece. <laughs> so I'm driving this garbage car out of the service aisle the whole time I'm talking shit about the car to myself. Yep. God damn it. It smells it's like Ronald McDonald's uh, belly button in here. I can't stand it. Cursing, I car, and all of a sudden I realize there's been a kid sitting in the back seat the entire time. Whoa, there's a small child <laughs> there's back a there. There's a kid in the back. What are you doing back there? So now I have to escort this kid back to the service aisle and pray to God that he doesn't tell his parents about all the shit I was talking about their car. Uh, so listen here, kid. I'm gonna give you this dollar bill and all that Rosie O'Donnell belly button talk's gonna stay between us, okay? But being a porter wasn't all bad. Sometimes we got to drive really nice cars, like this guy that would bring in his sweet-ass Shelby GT. The only problem yeah. was I had no idea it's how to drive photo, stick you shit. So there I that. am, stalling this dude's Mustang out every three fucking feet, the owner standing nah. outside watching me the entire time. Holy hell! I'll just get out of the car. I'll take it from here. You probably just fucked my clutch up eight different ways. Don't you know how cars work? But if you thought that was bad, it was nothing compared to what I did to these old people's van. You see, these uh -oh. old people came in to pick up their big ass van that we just fixed, so I pulled it up for them. And since these people were somewhere between 80 and 1,000 years old, I decided to back it into the service aisle for them. Well, as I'm backing up, the overhead door starts to come down, and uh -oh. guess what happened? 
That's right, I slammed their fucking van through the overhead door like I was in a goddamn Jason Statham movie. <laughs> Holy hell, Barbara, I'm having heart palpitations. Brewer standing there yeah. watching the whole thing. Yeah, who's the retard now, huh? I get out and I have no idea what to say. Sorry, I don't know how cars work. I didn't really mean to ram your minivan through the overhead door like a psychopath. So needless to say, yeah. we had to fix their car again. And needless to say, nobody wanted me to bring cars up anymore. Uh, yeah, we really can't have you flinging vans through overhead doors all willy-nilly. Mm -hmm. But I have good news. Somebody took a shit in one of the urinals so you can help out with that. Wow. Roostew.com. That was funny. That was really funny. I don't know if it's better than Odd Ones Out, but that was really funny. Seriously. All right, guys, make sure you watch the original link down below. Make sure you subscribe to Bruce Do and make sure you give a like, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you watch, make sure you ring that bell so you can get notified. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys, thanks for watching. Deuces. Let the dog